Today I'm reviewing the Mackie CR3 Multimedia Monitors. The CR3s are one of the most popular studio monitors on the market and come packed with quite a few cool features. The design of the speakers is actually pretty sleek and modern. They're built with an all plastic body and front panels with these distinctive green accents around the woofers, tweeters and the volume knob. The CR3 comes with a 3 inch woofer on each speaker. Mackie also produces 4 and 5 inch models of the CR series if you need greater audio output. I'll leave links to all three versions below the video. The CR3 though should work just fine for most people. When you buy the set it comes with the powered speaker, the passive speaker, an RCA to 3.5 millimeter cable, a wire to connect the speakers to each other and finally an aux cable. Each of the speakers measures about 8 inches tall by about 5.5 inches wide by about 6 inches deep. The setup is fairly straightforward. You first want to connect the powered speaker to the passive speaker using the provided cable. To do this, pull back on the red and black audio connector tabs on the back of the powered speaker and insert the black wire into the black slot and the red wire into the red slot. We're then going to do the same on the passive speaker by pushing down on the connector tabs, inserting the wires and ensuring the wires are securely connected. Make sure each wire is in the correctly colored slot. Now it's time to pick your input connector. The CR3 has three input options. There's a quarter inch balanced input which you could connect to something like a mixer. You also have an RCA input for devices with RCA outputs. And last but not least, you have an aux or 3.5 millimeter input on the front, which you can use to connect it to something like a cell phone or MP3 player. The CR3 doesn't come with Bluetooth connectivity. For that, you'll have to step up to the CR4BT, and I'll leave a link to that right below the video as well. In my case, I'm going to use the RCA inputs, and I'm going to use the provided RCA to 3.5 millimeter cable to connect it to my 27 inch iMac. Right next to the aux port on the front you also have a headphone jack in case you need to switch from speakers to a headphone without unplugging the speakers. A very thoughtful touch. Once you're done making those connections plug the powered speaker into a power outlet and turn on the speakers by turning the volume knob clockwise. I love how the accent around the volume button turns green when the speaker is turned on. Now the speakers on my 27 inch iMac are probably some of the best you'll find on any computer. But I'm going to test how the built-in speakers perform when compared to the Mackie CR3. I've set the volume level on both the iMac and CR3 to 50% and my camera is about two feet away from the computer. So here's how the built-in speakers on the iMac sound. And now you can hear what the CR3 sounds like. So as you could probably tell from the test, while the iMac speakers are really good for a computer, the Mackie CR3 was just much clearer, sharper, and had much deeper and richer bass than the iMac. Really impressive audio quality. So should you buy the Mackie CR3 multimedia monitors? If you're looking for an inexpensive set of speakers to use when editing videos, gaming, or if you just want to improve the audio quality on your computer, the Mackie CR3 is absolutely worth the money. It's a nice 
nicely built set of speakers with several input options and most importantly, really good quality sound. If you're looking to buy a set, I've left a link right below the video. Hope this review was useful. If it was, please hit that like button and subscribe for more reviews, unboxings and how-to videos. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.